In this video, we will cover uh, the image slider, but only one button to do all the sliding work. So first, let's upload the images. We'll insert a media. We'll put a initialize button. This initialize code is the same. Clear, collect all images. Image ID one, comma, image flower one. Okay, image flower one, flower two, flower three, flower four, comma, comma, two, two, then three, three, oh, three, and then four, let's see, four. And we initialize the current index. Text so once this is done, we only need one icon. Oh, this image will be look up. Collection images, image ID is equal to current index, and then we take the image column. Let's test it quickly. Oh, something is wrong here. Anyone? Anyone? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next. The button. Next. And on select. Ah, there is an if logic. Now remember. As soon as you click one, two, three. And then if it is less than four, that means if it is three, then you still have to increment. But the moment the index become four, you have to reset the index to one. So here is the logic. If mm -hmm. okay, current index is less than four. Then update context contextor update context. I'm not sure if there is a word contextor in English, but no. Current index is current index plus one. Now, else if, so see, this is already a if, even though I'm not putting an if here, but this is already a if, okay, second line is already a if, current index, a, what is this, I'm confused, if current index is equal to 4,
so guys what did we do i let's keep it capital i don't know what did we do yes in the previous class okay let's assume it's this then we update context okay so this is the logic as soon as the last image is reached we assign the current index to one so when we click the next button it will uh, try to load from the first let's run and see initialize oh what's wrong here Uh, let's check what's going on here. Current index is one. Oh, and what is the logic for this? Ah, too many mistakes. Current, R -R -E -N -T. current. Whoosh, there is current. Okay, initialize the first one two, three, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. How can you tell that this is what at index? So we can just put a label here just to see what is the value of current, current index. Okay. Okay. Initialize. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. See here this one. Initialize. 1, 2, 3. Initialize. 1. Next, next. Initialize. 1. Next, next, next. Initialize. Next, 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 next. next. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the logic for. Uh, the only key point here is the if logic. This is the else if logic okay else if the current index is 4 then do this so if current index is less than 4 it will execute this if the current index is equal to 4 it will execute this if then else logic for those who are from the background of programming they can they would know that this is the else if part there is no else if in power apps but this is the else if 